Hello everybody, my name's Dick Coughlin. Thank you for watching this video. Before we crack on, I would just like to say that if you do enjoy this video and any of the other videos I've got on this or my other channels, A, obviously subscribe and hit the bell icon. But other than that, please do consider supporting me on Patreon or making a donation via PayPal. Links to both of those will be below. Anything I receive is very much appreciated. This is what I do for a living, so all the money I get from you is what I get full stop. So thank you very much for that. Anyway, on with the video. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name's Brother Neuro. Now this is not normally the kind of video that these days I'd like to go around making. I've never really been a fan of making videos that are negative just for the sake of being negative. Although I do understand and appreciate there is a very big market out there for videos that are just inherently cynical and pessimistic. Those sorts of videos generally come in the form of someone picking up a subject or something that they don't like and then making a video telling you about how much it sucks. In some cases it's permissible, but in, in a lot of cases it tends to be someone moaning about something of which they're not even the target demographic. You know, it's some middle-aged, basement-dwelling, whinging neckbeard banging on about some pop band who they're not a fan of. I mean, do you really care what the amazing atheist thinks about Justin Bieber? I'm pretty sure Justin Bieber doesn't. You know, he's too busy banging his way through supermodels to start worrying about that. My response to such content usually is like, okay, well if you don't like it, then don't listen to it. It's not fucking hard, there's lots of stuff I don't like out there, I just don't pay attention to it. You know, it's not difficult. I generally have a similar kind of like easygoing attitude with so-called clickbait videos. Yes, they're annoying and they're a waste of time, but usually I'm pragmatic enough to go, look, I'm not going to be able to stop people making these things so if I click on a video and it turns out it's clickbait I'll just make a point going right I won't ever click on that person's videos ever again no big no biggie no harm done no harm no foul etc etc now having said both of those things in this video I'm effectively going to be going against both of those things that I've just said that I'm never normally going to go against because in this video, I'm going to be talking about A, not only a channel on YouTube that I fucking hate, but one that is the textbook definition in anyone's eyes of fucking clickbait. So why am I drawing attention to this channel? Well, because unlike most clickbait channels, which tend to have a very short shelf life, you know, it tends to, they tend to come and go, this one's been going for nearly over three years at this point during which time it is amassed, as it stands now, nearly 3.2 million subscribers. It's called Top 5's Finest, and yes, it is a list channel. Now, I don't have a problem with list channels. I'm prepared to admit I, like most people, love nothing more. There's nothing more tempting than a good old-fashioned fucking list. In fact, some of my more popular videos in the last few years that I've made have been list videos. There's something just kind of satisfying about a good old-fashioned, seeing a top five whatever list video. There's something satisfying about it. I think we can all agree on that. But my problem with Top 5's Finest is not just the fact that they make lists, it's not that they make list videos, it's that they make really bad list videos. They are poorly researched, they are incredibly lazy, and ultimately they promote the worst kind of paranoid conspiratorial pseudoscientific bullshit. And they do it whilst masquerading under the veil of like, oh it's just scepticism, or we're just asking questions, you know, all that crap. But because this channel it presents itself as just another list video, and not a channel that is therefore putting forward a scientific point of view or what have you, it's managed to go the last few years regularly uploading content that has been subjected to barely any scrutiny whatsoever. Now that's quite remarkable when you consider this YouTube channel has more, has over a million more subscribers than Alex Jones' YouTube channel had before it was taken down. And as I'm about to show you, Top 5 Finest's content is every bit, if not more so, bonkers than Alex Jones ever fucking was. 
I literally spent over six hours pouring through Google and YouTube and social media trying to find some evidence of anyone who's ever made any content, a video, a blog post, a Reddit post, anything rebutting or refuting or debunking anything that this channel was ever produced. And the most I came up with was a three year old post on Reddit where someone had found evidence that they had in their early days at least plagiarised some of their content. Which in, in essence is quite impressive, the fact that not only are they making shit content, they're making shit content that they haven't even come up with. Now normally the act of plagiarism for me is disgusting and disingenuous and it's dishonest enough for me to you know, just sort of dismiss and sort of have a big enough problem with any kind of creator of anything. But with Top 5 Finest you really have to go through it to believe what you're seeing. So to start with, before I go in depth with any of their content, I'm just going to start by showing you some of the titles and thumbnails of their video so you have an idea of what we're dealing with here. Starting off very simply, right here. Five angels caught on camera flying and spotted in real life. Now, this will carry on a trend that you'll see where the, the, the clickbait videos like to do, where they have to circle something. But sometimes they just, the circling is not only pointless. I mean, like in this one, you can clearly see what the focus is of it. You don't need them to fucking single it out for you. But nevertheless, let's carry on. Here's another one for you. Five megalodons caught on camera and spotted in real life. In fact, this isn't just the first time, this is one of several megalodons caught on camera and spotted in real life. And again, they've circled it for you just in case you're not sure where the megalodon is supposed to be. It's like the easiest spot the ball fucking competition you've ever bloody seen. Five scariest creatures caught on camera. Oh my God, it's a child dressed up with a gun. What a terrifying fucking subject. This is five mermaids that might exist in real life. And that, again, is one that takes up multiple fucking videos. There's, that's in, there's like three or four more five mermaids. This one, however, is the only one with might in the title. And how flimsy does your evidence have to be when this channel isn't prepared to fucking stick its neck out on the line and it has to say might? Five unicorns caught on camera and spotted in real life. Five Slenderman caught on camera and spotted in real life. And I'm not sure whether or not, but my problem is whether or not it should be Slenderman or Slendermen. Five mysterious creatures caught on camera and spotted. It's a geezer in a fucking werewolf. Now, <coughs> I'm sorry. Obviously, again, well, like with all clickbait, this has got fuck all to do with what the actual is in the video. That is not one of the creatures there. Because obviously, if you went down to your cellar and saw that fucking thing staring at you, the last thing you would do is, oh, quick, get your camera out. Five mysterious videos that cannot be explained. And what annoys me about this one is the fact that they've circled just a geezer in the back. Right? Not the woman with bloody horns in the front. You think that would be the thing you can't explain? No, it's the geezer in the back who's just a bloke standing there. Five horses you won't believe ex actually exist, and I'm willing to believe that, seeing as how the thumbnail is a frigging drawing. I'm just bloody surprised they haven't circled the damn thing. Five things NASA don't want you, doesn't want you to know. There's a few NASA videos here. Five leaked. It's five secret leaked videos NASA doesn't want you to see. This video had about 1.2 million views. So I'm guessing NASA could give two flying fucking shits about whether this one or not. Five places where gravity doesn't seem to exist. Sometimes they even contradict each other. For example, look at this one. Look at the two videos either side. Now these... These videos both use the same thumbnail and they're, they're, they're six months apart. The first one was called Five Shocking Confessions of Astronauts in Space. And the second one, right, six months later, is This is What All Astronauts Are Trying to Cover Up. Well, which one is it, Sunbeam? Is it five shocking confessions or things they're trying to cover up? You can't put the same... Pl and how bad does your clickbait have to be to get to the point where y you've got the same bloody thumbnail now? You're running out of thumbnails. 
Five people who mocked God and died. As opposed to all those other people who don't mock God and are immortal. Five dragons caught on camera and spotted in real life. Five, I shit you not, Godzilla caught on camera and spotted in real life. This one's kind of confusing. Five dinosaurs caught on camera and spotted in real life, and I don't know what the fucking hell that thing in the thumbnail is supposed to be. But then the next video along is five strangest things ever to hold up traffic, and that is clearly a triceratops. Which again, they've circled. Why not put the triceratops in that bloody thumbnail for the other video? Five terrifying planets you don't want to visit. You know, oh bugger. Because I've got a long list of fucking planets I'd love to visit. Like, all of them, really. Five products you'll never eat once you know what, once you know what they're made of. Now, the problem with this one is they've got, a, they've got a plate of food here, and they've got a picture, and there's an arrow pointing at a pig's bottom here. Now, that food there, I can tell you for a fact, that is, that's, that is calamari. I'm pretty sure that calamari is not made out of pig's bottoms. Five real-life werewolves you won't believe exist. Thumbnail is a geezer dressed as Wolverine sat in a doctor's fucking... Th <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with this one. And the last one, and I shit you not this is true, I shit you not, five Santa Claus caught on camera and spotted in real life. What annoys me as well is even on little videos that are just clickbait, they just, they're clearly fucking lying. Right, on one video, it's a video called something, this banned episode of The Simpsons will leave you shocked. And, and what it is, is that it, it, he claimed, first of all, he claims in the video, whoever the fuck it is, they claim in the video that they, they watched uh, all, they spent a month watching every single episode of The Simpsons. And I worked that out. That would require you to do nothing but watch The Simpsons for close to nine hours every day for 28 days. And all they say is there's one episode that has never been repeated on TV. There's no evidence to prove they... There's no reason to believe that's true, but apparently that's shocking. Apparently the fact that they haven't, probably haven't repeated many of the episodes of The Simpsons on TV, A, because there's so many, and B, because for the last 20 years it's been pretty fucking gash. But it isn't just that the thumbnails of the video bear no resemblance to the content, but in most cases, even the titles of the video bear no resemblance to anything that's on the fucking video. Let me play one of the videos now. This is a relatively short one, but it's called The Five Biggest Lives in History That You Still Believe. Right now, obviously it's a general term, but generally what you would think of, if with a video with that title, you'd think, well, these are going to be common misconceptions throughout history, general sort of ignorance, like things that most people still think are true, but actually turns out they're not. Right, let's have a bang on this one. Wisdom dictates that the truth shall set you free. Well, wisdom doesn't dictate that, that's a quote from Jesus. But we are aware of the many lies that have been told all around the world by people we respect. Lies are told for various reasons, among them fame, money, and revenge. Or to get ad revenue. However, there are some lies that have stood the test of time. In fact, it is said that a lie repeated may actually become the truth. Actually, no, it hasn't been, that hasn't been said. What was said was that if you repeat a lie, right, enough, that eventually people will believe it to be the truth. Right? And it's ironic, given the first nump thing on this list, considering who said that. P move on. With this being said, prepare, because here are the five biggest lies in history that you still believe. Right, just bear it in mind, the five biggest lies in history that you still believe. Number five, Nazi propaganda. The Jews had always suffered persecution in Germany until the rise of the Nazis. When the Nazis came, they started a propaganda which easily qualifies as one of the biggest lies in history. They blamed the Jews for all their problems and even accused them of sacrificing Christian children in rituals. This is when the purge of the Jews began. The truth was that the Jews were in fact not responsible for their problems. Okay, stop right there. Now that's it. Right, now, I'm sorry, the title of the video, five again. So they're, infer they're implying that you the average viewer, still believe Nazi propaganda. Now, I know there are lots of people who do, but even if you're the sort of person who is, 
What you just did in that video, my friend, is not going to convince anyone otherwise, because you didn't debunk anything. You just said, the Nazis blame the Jews for all their problems. The truth is, the Jews did nothing. And then you move on to the next one. Right? Now, this next one is a fucking doozy. Check this out. Number four, the Trojan horse. The war between Troy and Greece had lasted for over a decade. It had gotten to a point where the Trojans were now very confident that they had defeated the Greek in the war. What they did not know is that the Greek had something up their sleeves and they were planning a surprise for them. This turned out to be among the biggest lies in history. The Greeks had built a huge horse with a big hollow belly where Greek soldiers were hidden. The idea was to present this horse to the Trojans as a peace offering. The Trojans accepted it and took it to the city. During the night, the soldiers hiding inside the horse broke loose and slaughtered the entire population. That's it! Apparently, you all still believe that the Trojan horse was just a wooden horse. Apparently, you didn't realise there were frigging Greek soldiers hiding in it. Like, as if we've been sat in our... Oh, do you remember when the Greeks gave the Trojans that bloody big horse as a gift? That was nice, isn't, wasn't it? Yeah, and nothing else happened after that. Right. And if you think that's bad enough, check this one out. Number three, Piltdown Man. I'm sorry, stop. Piltdown Man. Right? I'm sorry, nobody still thinks Piltdown Man is true. Nobody. Right? There are only two, there's only one group of people who bring up Piltdown Man in any debate, and that is creationists. Right? And creationists are the only people who still bring up Piltdown Man. Right? They're the only people who bring it up because Piltdown Man turned out to be uh, a forgery. And, and the only other people who have to bring it up are people who are debunking creationists, pointing out that it was science. The so nobody, nobody fucking still believes Piltdown Man was fucking real. Nobody. Right? And if you th and uh, and at first I thought this was just them using Piltdown Man because fuck no at this stage I wasn't too sure what the agenda was but they've got another video right they've got a video called Five True Theories of Evolution that sound like lies right and check out the fucking first one that's on this list the five true theories of evolution that sound like lies but aren't but before we begin make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With that being said, let's begin. Number five, God's creations. If you're a religious person, then most likely you know the theory of creationism in depth. Contrary to other hypotheses, creationism basically consists of the set of religious beliefs in which both the universe and living beings come from the divine creation or from a higher power. They've been forged in the image and likeness of God. This theory isn't supported by scientific facts, but by questions of faith. In the same way in which it appears in the Bible, believers consider that was the way it all happened. However, not everyone, including scientists, approve this theory of creationism as true. How is it possible that human beings have been created by a being unknown to us? Well, the classical creationists deny any kind of biological and human evolution, as well as scientific explanations about the origin of life. For them, the only truth comes from Christianity, in which a literal interpretation of what is described in Genesis is made. How about that? Although it seems strange, believing in scientific theories isn't entirely bad. But they can't fully explain all the phenomena and the great biological, vegetable, and animal diversity that exists in the world. That's why creationism can't be ignored or judged as fake, when even scientists themselves are still doubtful about it. Whether you believe in this theory or find yourself in favor of evolution, the outcome is the same. Did you hear that? Whether you believe in this creationism or evolution, the outcome is the same. Yes, reality is reality. But that doesn't just mean that you can come up with any old shit you like and it's all fair game. That's not how it works, right? I'm not going to play you the other four, but this is not a theory of evolution. You just stated in the fucking bit, creationists don't believe evolution happened, right? And then you sit there going, but scientists can't explain everything. Well, scientists don't have to explain everything, but you can't fill in the gaps with, we can't explain everything with any old shit we like. There's even some videos that they trot out, where they just trot out the same old shit over and over again and this is a great one there's one there that i'll give you an example because the channel's only been around that long but the, the channel was created around 2016 and they've got a video called five nostradamus predictions for 2016 right here are two of the predictions number five world war three number two 
2016 Asteroid Impact on Earth. Okay, World War Three. The, okay, it would beg to it would beg the question why they would make why there would then be predictions after that. But there was one in 2017. They added five Nostradamus predictions for 2017. Here's some of the predictions in that. Number five, the third Antichrist. Number three, North Korea and South Korea merger. Number one, World War Three. Okay, apparently, okay, you just keep, if you just keep doing it over and over again, I mean, it's better than Alex Jones, who just makes a World War Three prediction every week, I suppose. But then they've got a five Nostradamus predictions for 2018. Here's two of the fucking predictions from that. Number five, Trump. Number four, World War Three. Apparently this was all Nostradamus did, and I don't know because these I, I refuse to believe these fuckers have read sodding any p fucking Nostradamus in their entire pissing bastard lives. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, Richard, why are you getting angry about this? What is the point? Well, there is no point really, it's just that this is a channel that I just hate. And not only do I hate it, I hate the fact that it gets away with just constantly trotting out this shit. And um, if anything, consider this video a public service. If you're someone who likes making videos debunking, you know, n just ridiculous pseudo-scientific conspiratorial bullshit peddled by fucking snake oil salesmen, then consider this a public service. Here's a fucking free resource for you. Here's a YouTube channel that is knocking it out video and vi after video. It's got a huge back catalogue for you, right? And uh, in my opinion, because of that and because of the popularity of it, it, and because of just the shamelessness of it, right? I think this is Top 5's Finest is, without doubt, currently the worst YouTube channel currently available. If you disagree with me or you think there's a worse one out there, feel free to tell me in the comments. Other than that, my name's Dick Coughlin. Thank you very much. Good night. May God be less.